That goes over there. Yeah, you had another one in there. I was like, wait a minute. I can't see you. I know. So I mean, stop it's just it. all dark. It's not. There's a whole scene going on over here. With the cowboys. No, not cowboys. Men on horses. Well, not all of us get to be close to the parts we put in. So just stop bragging about it. Um, you used to get on to me. Why can't I get on to you? Because I'm better. Not really. Wow, you're saying I'm not better than you? Well, you're perfect, but... Exactly. I'm a little partial. I made you. <laughs> That's like, anytime, like... I always win with that. I've said it a few times in my life where I'm like, my mom likes it, but, like, she's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's like... <laughs> <laughs> Not all moms blow smoke, but I it was still so funny whenever uh, one of the chicks was like, "Who are you? Who are you puzzling with?" And I was like, "My mom." Oh, and she was just like, oh. "I don't know what she had prepared." She's met me. I don't know what she had prepared <laughs> to say to that. I don't know if she was like looking for an invite. I mean, I still would have invited her if she asked. You're more than like, welcome to come. She just did it. She just was like, "Oh," <laughs> and then like talked about. <laughs> I don't know. She still <laughs> likes me, right? She was like, where's your secret friend that you're hiding? And I'm like, I don't have friends. You know this. She knows this. It's I think mom. it's because I say it so often people don't believe me. That I'm... No, that I don't, oh, have, that friends. You don't have friends. People like don't believe it's me. It's one of those things that but people there's... say to get attention. I, oh, I guess that's they true. do. I don't say it to get attention. I know. But See the opposite. That's what people, people say me to get attention. I'm like, look, I'm a loser with no friends. You don't want to be friends with me. And they're no. like, I want to befriend you. And I'm right. like, oh. Right, because. But there's a statistic like one in every, like one out of five adults don't have any friends or something like that. Oh, that's that? so sad. It's very sad. That is awful. Well, there was a poll done or like a, a survey done where it's Call like. Call me. I'll be your friend. Yeah, I don't find it. Uh, like I say all the time, far too often, as I'm you alone. just said it is sad. I, it's sad for some people because some people need people. Um, Everybody needs people. Yeah. We're human beings. I have so many. I had 20 people at my house. <laughs> what the, when the fuck did that happen? Like, like, I'm not even exaggerating. <laughs> I'm, I hate people. <laughs> I don't have any friends. I had 20 well, people I, at I my house. I had to do it because the guy that moved to Alabama <laughs> was in town, and and oh it just gosh. happened to coincide with the last Friday. The guy from just the UK Just acknowledge you town. like people. Just do it. Out of all the coworkers I've ever co-worked with, they're acceptable. Oh. Is it really that hard to acknowledge that you like they're people? They're fine. I, they're fine to be around. They bring food. Oh my gosh. They're chill. Stop. They played um, Super Smash Bros. If you Masters. truly didn't like people, you wouldn't have invited them to your home. I'm not saying I don't this is like your sacred them. Place. I'm just saying we're not friends. Oh my gosh. They're just co workers. But it's just like, it's it's funny. Oh, I just, friends has such a negative connotation. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> well, that's like. I've had a we... friend since I was 16 years old. I just and it's not a negative connotation. It's a, a friend is somebody that you can call and unload on, and they're like, "Are you done?" <laughs> and move on. <laughs> but I have the internet and random people on the internet for that. We didn't have the internet. And what's great is like I can unload and just like never talk to them again. So no consequences, you know? I don't have con. We don't have consequences. What? We don't have consequences just... with one another. Because it's she just, told me things. My problem with like having friends is like you have to like care about them and keep up with them. That's so much fucking work. You have the wrong friends. I because don't... if it's a true friend, you can pick up the phone after not talking for a month. And well, I don't think I ever pick up right where you really up. had friends. Because like in high school, I think I had people that I yes, kept around no. so that I had stuff to do, but they weren't friends. Yeah. They were just the people that I used the word for because it was easier than being like they're the people I keep around until I get bored of them. A true and friend you can tell anything to and they'll come back tomorrow or they'll leave you alone for a week and come back. Literally, I was friends with these people from middle school all the way until graduation. They knew they were they, not friends. They didn't know I played video games. They didn't know I read books. No, school friends and adult friends are different. I'm just saying they didn't know me as a person. No, you know they I mean? didn't. Like, I, sure, I, I called them friends, but they really right. they weren't anything. That's different. I mean, I hang out with them outside of school because it's what you have. When you're teenagers and adults, 
See, I would consider you my friend because no matter how mad I make mom. you or how... Yeah, but it's but a different you, relationship you would not when you're be friends with me if I was not your daughter. Yes, I would. You would be so upset all of the time. <laughs> You'd would be you like, be friends she's with such me? A bitch, and she's so she's so gross, and she's so what? mean, and she's so blah blah blah. Like you would not be friends. No, with me. because I know your humor. Yeah, because you're my mother. If you weren't my mother, you would not. You would not. I, I don't know. I would never have spoken to you. Well, that's the thing is, you wouldn't be friends with me. I know because I'm so needy. I and see. You'd be like I see people Ew. like. It's funny though because I say that, but, but you like you do handle people at work that are just like me. And you take them under your wing. I so. literally got talked to, stuff talking to an old lady yesterday. Because she was like, are you blah, 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 that works in this department? I was like, nope. And she's, and it was funny because the HR lady was there, so she knew my name. She's like, nope. And um, <laughs> or I was like, no, no, I used to work in help desk. You probably know me from there. And she's like, oh, maybe. And I was like, I, you actually probably never spoke to you in person. <laughs> I generally only email because separation. And then the HR lady's like, do you like your new job? I was like, yes. <laughs> I don't have to. I, I love my new job. Not going to expand on that. Because um, <laughs> I was almost like, yeah, I don't have to talk to people like this right here, right now. Oh, my gosh. My boss actually came in for a full day on Friday. It was crazy. You say stuff like that, and I just roll my eyes because I know that you say it. But if someone truly came up to you and needed you, you'd be there for, for them in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah. I'm a in a heartbeat. Oh, man. I'm so awkward when people are, like, breaking down. I'm just like, oh, I hate it. Do you want alcohol? Do you want drugs? <laughs> you want a hug? Uh. I am horrible in those situations. I am a horrible people. person to be around in those situations. There's, like, two people in this world. Because I don't know what to say. Like, there's two people in this world I let hug me. Mostly me. Because, because they are huggy people. Yeah, me. you and one of one of my ex coworkers. Because that's just how she is. Oh, that's so nice that you let her hug you. I don't think I have much of a choice. You don't. It's easier to just With let it happen. With me or her. Yeah. <laughs> just let it happen and move on. And like JD's mom is a huggy person. I've gotten better with it. If I get excited, I can't help it. I have to hug you. But I've gotten better with it that I know... It makes me uncomfortable watching other people hug each other. That's how far it goes. Wow. Like, wow. A couple of the coworkers would do that in the office because they're just such weird yes. heroes. And I just don't. Uh, grown men hugging each other is weird. It isn't. It isn't weird. I know it's, it's not, not. But for me, it makes me uncomfortable. Not. And it's not just men. It's just like anybody. Like, if it's not hugging it's a, a youth child, thing, not a it's weird. Thing. Because I used to hug my kids at work all the time, right? Yeah, but that's kids. I mean, yeah, and you hug Corey if he yeah, comes and, up to you. Yeah, absolutely different. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. Oh my gosh, I've got the cutest story. So, we've had to talk about keeping secrets. Oh. And oh. because he actually told me in the car that he couldn't tell me something because he has to keep it a secret. And I said, uh, no, 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 okay, no. Okay. So... We had a discussion about secrets. And types that, of secrets. Huh? There's types of secrets. Well, I understand, but at five years old, he doesn't understand types yeah. or you have to just, he's you a straightforward person. You have to person. tell him the types of secrets. So I told him, I said, no, you shouldn't keep secrets from mommy, daddy, or grandma. You should always tell us, especially if you don't feel comfortable or if something makes you upset, you definitely need to tell us. And he goes, but I can't. And I said, no, honey. I said, you don't have a choice. You should not keep secrets okay. from grandma, mommy, or daddy. And he sat there for a minute and he was thinking and he goes, and Kelsey? And I said, that, and Kelsey. Tell me all the things <laughs> and I'll keep them. I was secret. like, go for it. Tell Kelsey, <laughs> she'll tell us if anything's He's wrong. like, I can tell her. She's cool. I know. She won't, she won't saddle in <laughs> my juice box. So... I made a point of, whenever he told me the secret, I made a point of telling Samantha out of his ear range so that I wouldn't yeah. lose that trust. And so I told her about it and she goes, oh, okay. And I said, but don't say anything to him because yeah. it's really not that big of a secret. Yeah. It's really not that big of a deal, but. But yeah, it starts with the it's little very, things. Yes. And they lose their trust with you very early in age 
Yeah, you learned that lesson hard. Unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look at you growing as a human. Me? Hey, growing from your mistakes. I learned that trick. I learned trust from all adults at like I learned to not trust adults at the age of like seven. You say stuff like this, and I'm like, this did not hit until middle school. I hate to tell you this. No. But a lot of the stuff you talk about did not hit until middle school. No, I remember whenever I learned the tooth fairy wasn't real. Very no, no, I understand me. that. And I, then it was like constantly like, but why? Why does right. this happen? And then the why game became very popular That shook that. your world that I could lie to you about that? Uh, very well, might I add. And... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's the thing is like, I think I developed some deep trust issues because I realized at such a young age that people could lie and they could lie real well. And then I got really good at lying. And, and I realized if I could lie this well, this easily with this little effort, then other people could lie this easily with this little effort. You know? It's really not. I learned Every about- adult lies to kids. I'm I, sorry. Yeah. It's a thing. And I'm sorry that you I don't know, figured I it like out that could... every adult lies to their kids. Well, you cannot tell your child 100% of the time, 100% of the truth. Why? Not possible. You could break the cycle. No, because some things kids don't need to know. And then you just say, we'll talk about kid. that when you're older. You don't have to lie to them. Uh, some kids have this... But now the ability. internet exists, so you better tell them because they're just going to go search it themselves. That's what I did when I was a kid. I was just like, oh, my mom's not going to tell me. I'll just go Google it. Oh, shit, I shouldn't have Googled that. I'm too young. Okay, they didn't have Google back then like they do now. Yeah, it was worse because you could get access to, like, anything with no parental supervision because the internet was the Wild West. I okay. I shit at a very young age. We had one computer in the house in our bedroom. Yeah, but that was not... There was no, like, parental controls on the computers at school or at the library. Oh, they had them in the library? Computers? Yeah. That you could just Google stuff that weren't school yeah. computers. They were I mean, maybe not the age hooked of up to the internet. Go to the okay. Of You're talking about but high I, school. Well, in middle school, we went to the library in middle school. I know, but I don't I was think they chatting, had internet access. I was chatting with strangers on the internet at the age of 11. That was in our at our computer in the No, that bedroom. was on, on the computers at the library in RuneScape. Those were strangers on the internet. In I a don't chat think room. It, you had internet access in middle school. We played RuneScape at the library every day. We absolutely had access. Oh, to I'm, I'm think. Okay, I'm thinking school, school library. You're saying the actual yeah, library. No, I like understand that. Okay, and it wasn't every day. You guys walked we to the library to a couple library, times a year. There's nothing interesting in there. No, we did that for like a week in a row. Or something. I don't think you did. Until like I think one of my friends got in trouble from her. because like uh, the Earth one was. We thought that was hard. Whenever we first started. <laughs> you know, it's funny because when we first started, it, I grumbled through every puzzle and I know I did. I, I grumbled didn't think you like puzzles through you every puzzle because I was like, oh my God, this is so hard. I'm this is so hard. Doing this. But I started seeing the enjoyment in it and I really like puzzles. I think it's because we've gotten better puzzles. Right, higher quality I think does help. It does. Which it does in, ev in every facet of life. If you can afford higher quality, you should. Because there's a... If you can't afford it, you should? If you can afford it. Oh, okay. I if thought you If you can't can. afford higher quality, but that's like with art. Like, yes, you can do the same level of art with cheaper supplies, but it's going to take a lot more work to manipulate right. those supplies. And it's, in some cases, like with paint, it might actually end up costing you more money because they don't go as far, so you need right. more supplies. So if you can invest into more expensive stuff up front, it generally is better because you end up saving more money in the right. long run. Well, and it's not like we can't costs. do this again. But like with this, like... Because even if we did it again, it still would have the same kind of... You would still have to do all the things we're doing now. <coughs> You know, I didn't Bless really you. consider long term what we're doing. How did I get this piece back in my room? I feel like I put this in the puzzle already. Oh, that's funny. How did. No, no, that's... no, 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 no. <laughs> We have it on tape, but. Sorry. <laughs> I put this in already. You didn't. <laughs> oh, you tried it. 
and it didn't work. Oh, it's that goes over here. Me. It's haunting me. I hate whenever I find them in the bubble and I look at the puzzle and, I... and it's gone. And it's upside down. <laughs> I don't think that's just stand. David's complaint. I I think next time we need to do it sideways so that we're both at a disadvantage. But it looks so good on the video. I know it does. I guess I could flip the camera. I was gonna say we can always just move the camera to. Well, I, have I actually thought I of that. Actually, aren't you impressed? Can you say you're impressed? I thought of that. So creative, never would have thought of it. No, I'm just saying acknowledge that I... Had a thought? Ooh! No, <laughs> that I thought of flipping the camera instead of trying to maneuver the table. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to physically flip the camera. I'm just saying we could flip the camera feed. Oh, see, I was thinking move the camera. Yeah, okay. software, not hard work. Okay. I don't know which one would be easier, but... I really thought there was a skeleton in here flipping somebody off. I thought I've seen that. Well, you also call it pajamas, and it's definitely skin. Shh, it's pajamas. I was telling your dad about that. He goes, how do you not notice? And I said, I can't see for one, because it's on the other side of the table. I said, for two, it looks like pajamas hanging up to dry. Yeah, you know, you but know how, see you the know blood how most, underneath it. most people hang their pajamas with two giant iron hooks. <laughs> In a sealed off room <laughs> with creepy lighting. That's how I dry my pajamas, okay. personally. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Have you met this book? Work final piece. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> I'm just... It's crazy though, you can't see the pieces at all on the screen. That's how well these pieces go together, is it looks like a flat image. Oh, it does. It, it looks, looks like a picture like this. So good. Honestly, if we had a lighter table, you would be able to see. It's just, it looks... We have to do the pickup challenge with this one. You say that every time. No, we've done the pickup challenge mm -hmm. once. And then it fell apart? Uh-huh. Is that... Well, I don't think it completely fell apart. There's a new challenge. You have to turn the puzzle completely around. 360 degrees. Nice. To see if it falls apart. Okay. It's called a challenge. I'm dumb. Challenges are usually dumb. All of them. All challenges? I said not all challenges are usually dumb. Well, no, not all of them, but challenges. Well, I think, yeah. And most of them, especially dangerous challenges, are made up by men. Sorry. Not sorry. I mean... I have this theory, right, oh, about gosh. men. Oh, gosh. Because you know how people say they're old souls? Men? No, no. I so said, you know how people say they're old souls? Oh, the actual people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They have that old soul, like, they've lived a lot of lives. I think, here's my crazy conspiracy theory about souls and reincarnation, right? Okay. Men are born as the first iteration of a soul. So you're first born as a man. <laughs> and then you learn how to live life. And then you can be, like, after a few reincarnations, you get to be a woman. I understand this. And that's why all women are old souls. Okay, I understand this. You know, because all men feel like they this is their first life. I'm just saying. I would agree with you. <laughs> I'm just saying they're bringing first life energy. All of them. Because I'm just, every time. Okay, I understand. Is that a good conspiracy theory or what? I like it. It's not good. I like that conspiracy theory. It's my crazy has no merit came from nowhere, but I just feel that it's correct. It's the most correct thing that I've ever believed in. I would agree with you. <laughs> you start off as a man, and then you get to be a woman. Yeah, yeah. After a few reincarnations. Well, it depends on how you do as a man. Yeah, sometimes you're you're just you stuck. You're stuck as a man. Because <laughs> I feel like women understand how to be men way more than men have ever understood anything about a woman. <laughs> And that can only that only makes sense to me is if we have all been men at one point in our reincarnations, and men have never been anything because they have no understanding or ability. Okay. No, I understand where you're coming it from. It just makes sense. Yeah. Things that just make sense. I agree. <laughs> they gave off real like Omega vibes. Omega. It's a complicated joke. Alpha. Okay. 
There Omega is the Found it. Yes, I know. It's not a complicated it's, joke. Well, I understood it. I mean, kind of. There's also a thing called Omegaverse on fanfiction. That one's very complicated. And I don't even have the ability to explain it. It's just so complicated. And I'm not really in the scene. My feeble little mind can't handle it. I'm teasing. Um, that was a joke. It's more I like don't care. your prude little mind can handle it. I'm not prude. Okay. Is it a bad thing? Literally, though? the whole conversation would if that would be you going, "Ew, gross. Why? That's dumb. You shouldn't talk about that." <laughs> Let me start this conversation. I already had this conversation. My brain doesn't go well. So. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. Good to know. I'm glad we had that. Yeah. Now you know that I won't like it, so it's all good. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, I know my limits with you. And talking about the Omega well, verse is all hard. Well, things that I can talk about with you, or can't talk about with you, because you're my daughter. It's not because Literally I'm says the woman that was like, no, we've always been open to talk about sex. Okay. I did not say about sex. I don't want no details. And there's some things that I will never talk about with you. Because you're my daughter. Wow, bro. Not even your real friend. No, not in that <laughs> way. like, nah. Nope. <laughs> fucking hate this bitch. No, no, I don't hate you. There's things I've told Marcy that I will never, ever, ever tell you. Wow, oh, okay. Sorry. Fine. Well, Marcy can be your oldest daughter then. How about that? No, she's my oldest friend. You are my daughter friend. She is my friend friend. <laughs> My one and only friend. Why, why does that give me like sister wives vibes? I don't like Ew. it. Ew. Well, that's what it's, it's creepy. Ew. That's what I'm saying. I don't like it. You're my daughter and my friend is all I meant. Ew. Why do you got to take it weird? I didn't mean to take it weird. I'm just saying it. You just went weird with it. gross. I don't like it. I don't like the word friend. Let me think of a new word. <laughs> what? <laughs> friend is a weird. Why are you making things weird? See, that's okay. I am not, what's it called? It's called trauma. Rude. You I'm not rude. just don't, don't understand. About sexual stuff. I just don't like the word friend. I don't understand. Because you've never had a good friend. Also, Except for me. Not, we've been over this. I would not talk to you if you were not my mother. I don't care. <laughs> just saying. Like, I don't mm -hmm. care. I'll take what I can get. Says every person that tries to be my friend. <laughs> it's so funny to me whenever they tell people like we're not gonna be friends and then they get offended whenever I don't do we're friends. I warned you, this would happen. You're not entitled to my friendship. Okay. Well, you're not. Okay. What's wrong with that? No. People just think they know me. That's a problem I think I have. It's like people learn like I know. One, one thing about me and they think they know everything. Like they'll be like, oh, you like books? I know everything about you. I'm like, uh -uh. I also do tattoos in my spare time. Those worlds never collide. I know mm -hmm. your walls. Walls? Mm -hmm. I bet your you walls. don't know them all, though. Well, probably not because you've got some that are. I don't even know half of them. I have some oh for you. Oh my god. I, I act a different way around me. you than I do any other person. It's okay to have walls. Walls are healthy. Mm. And these go in so well. They just once, slide in. Once you put the piece in, it evaporates and it's not a piece anymore. It's, it's so gone. Oh. And there's very few false fits, surprisingly. So, when we first started, I was like, oh, there's false fits, but the picture does not. Right, right. Like, it's there, not there is a never real a false, false fit that you can't, like, even when I was doing the black, it was very obvious. Yeah. So, it, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful puzzle made by a beautiful person. We're not friends, though. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Cassie does not have friends, by the way. Oh, there it is. I need friends constant need to have other people in your life. I will never understand. Okay. Oh, nope. I've got it. There we go. Ow. I've been trying to do 
these pieces since we started. These pieces? All these that have the this in it. So why didn't you? That's what I started with. And then I said you no, was like, I oh, that goes over here. That's mine. Well, it's because you kept reaching across the bottom. And I was like, and we no, I wasn't. To you. I was staying on my side. Well, it's only because I finished the sky and I was like, now oh, what? And I didn't think, I thought there were, I thought there You just didn't like my progress? Yeah, you were being slow. Actually, you suck. Uh, <laughs> but I thought the roof was more, like, I thought it was more of the puzzle than what it is. Yeah. It's not very much And I knew puzzle. it wasn't. Well, okay, well, some of us didn't have free time with the puzzle before. I didn't have free time. You I had, looked at you the bought, picture. You, you bought, you knew about the picture before I did. I looked at the picture and realized there's only this roof with this stuff on it. I'm cleaning, I'm cleaning temporary insanity. That's what I'm doing. Doesn't work. Oh, this piece is huge. Really? It's like larger than the other piece. Okay, nah. Just... <laughs> oh, shit. It just felt big when I picked it up. Oh my god, that. that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> it's got a weight to it, you know? Where? Is it? Whoa, that made me dizzy. That you yeah, because I was zoomed into the puzzle and then I brought it closer. Oh. And it was like my eyes had to yeah. readjust real fast. You know when your eyes like, when you look at something far away, your eyes just like zoom out the picture to make it bigger. You know. I have glasses to do that. Oh. oh. If I, I look have... through the bottom of my glasses. I can look at little stuff up close. If I look through the top of my glasses, I can see stuff far away. Well, everybody says I have bad eyesight because it takes like a millisecond. So if I'm looking at something like 60 feet away that has text on it, it takes me like a millisecond to like zone in, like zoom in on the text and then I can read it. Everybody's like, you have bad eyesight. I'm like, what? But I can still read it. It just takes a second. Yeah. For the to like, adjust. For, yeah, exactly. Like if I've been looking at stuff that's only 20 feet away, it takes right. a minute to like, I guess. It's like your bifocals in your eyes already. Yeah, I've never had bifocals. I, this. I guess. I've never had my vision tested since I've been an adult. I have no idea what it is. Probably actually bad. I just can't Oh, it. that coffee store. Um. Oh yeah, I was gonna read quotes from the book. There were some really good ones. Oh really? That I, cool. I want to share because they're good. Okay, you share the quotes. And I think you would appreciate them. I'm going to try and put all the pieces. This is from the uh, book by, written by Bram Stoke, Stoke, Stoker. Jesus. This is like the most popular one on Goodreads. It says, There are darknesses in life and there are lights. And you are one of the lights. The light of all lights. Oh, I like that. This one's pretty good too. We learn from failure, not from success. That's oh, very accurate. that's pretty deep. But yeah, it's very I'm accurate. accurate. I don't care about that one. Okay, since you're reading. Ooh, this one's really good because I, I relate to it whenever people come to my house. Once again, welcome to my house. Come freely, go safely, and leave something of the happiness you bring. Aw. I would just prefer if they left leftovers, but that <laughs> counts. <laughs> Ooh, this one's really good too. I like that one because it's like leave a little piece of happiness. I like it. Which is like leave a little memory in your brain. You know? Yeah. Um, I am all in a sea of wonders. I doubt, I fear, I think strange things which I dare not confess to my own soul. Oh. Mm. That's deep. I like it. That's deep, bruh. <laughs> oh, this one's good. There, There is a reason why all things are as they are. You know? All things There's are. There's a reason why all things are as, as they, they are. are. Oh, oh, yeah, that's true. Very nice. There is. Mostly I can't find this piece. <laughs> that's why you're doing that. Keep reading quotes. Ooh, this one's good. These are all good. Remember, my friend, that knowledge is stronger than memory, and we should not trust the weaker. Which means that you shouldn't rely on memory alone, because it is weaker than knowledge. Well, you're taking your memory from your... It's true because you're taking your memory from your emotions at the time too. Right, memory is very fallible. Yes. Which is why, like, if you've ever looked into like when cops are questioning, there's like a whole psychology to mm -hmm. 
like working through because a lot of times whenever cops are talking to people it's like the worst moments in their life right so memory alters that a lot right and it's really interesting because they can be like did the person have a green shirt and you know suddenly that person remembers a green shirt mm -hmm. it was obviously red and they knew moments before you said green shirt that it was red it's just as soon as you introduce something their brain clicked that. right yeah you know, it's interesting i find that stuff fascinating maybe because and i have a terrible memory no but it is true that you can be manipulated and not even realize it. Well, and, and it's I, not that you're being manipulated. It's just that your subconscious you're in. didn't take in that detail. So it's trying to fill in the blanks. Right. Because now it sees that as important. So it's trying to fill in whatever it lost. Because I, I think I think I find it so interesting because I um, I have memory issues. So right. any in introspection into why people remember things and other people don't is fascinating to me. It's, it's interesting because I never rely on my memory, but hmm. people rely so heavily on their memory and I'm like, I could never, <laughs> like, <laughs> I couldn't even fathom the idea of reliably thinking that my memory was functioning properly. And it's never, so strange to me has. that your memory is so bad. Oh, it's called repression. And the but, first time I realized, like, actually realized that, like, oh, I might have some broken brain is when I was sitting in the psychology class in high school. I was like 16 and we started reading about repression. I was like, why do I relate so fucking hard to this? I was like, oh no, <laughs> is it me? <laughs> Could never. <laughs> <That's just funny. clears throat> Ooh, this one's good. Despair has its own calms. That's true. Its own qualms or calms? Calms. Calms, okay. There sense. is like a calmness to being just in despair. A calmness like, to despair? Because I feel like despair is the, uh, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Like giving into the sadness and just letting yourself be sad. Oh, almost. okay. So there okay. is like a peaceful calmness to just just let yourself be sad. Yeah. One of my favorite songs by I Prevail is Let Me Be Sad. And it's just about like, I'm in a bad place and I, I need you to stop telling me and I'll be okay because I just need to be here for a minute. Yeah. I just need to sit in this sadness and be here and not think about trying to fix it, Correct. not trying to be better or do more. Just sit here and allow myself this emotion it's it's very good to have a good cry i oh yeah for sure i mean well to it, me it because it, people are you should be allowed like, to have good cries you, you you'll get better you'll be happy it's like you're suppressing that feeling right and suppressing sadness is like so tr not traumatizing but like it's bad it, well yeah because it's, 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 you're just building it up well and it's even, gonna if, come out even if you never let it out it's just constantly never dealt with in the back of your brain so it's it's just going to eat away at you for longer than if you had just sat right. down and like understood why this made you sad and like dealt with it you know well it's going to come out in other ways one way or another right. it's going to come out right. it'll show up as like anger issues right. or like fear or right. yeah and i think that's why so many people are afraid of death is because they just never deal with the sadness of losing somebody so they develop like a, a subconscious fear to death instead of like accepting that it, everybody dies like you're not immune to that well okay so i have a fear of death because i don't want to miss out but you were miss out. <laughs> don't. you're going to you, i don't want you missed out on two two thousand millions of years of before you were born. But I didn't know those people. I know these people. And you're gonna miss out on millions <laughs> of years of after you're born. I don't like it. It's just... It, That's my fear of death, is I don't wanna... Like, okay. But you're not gonna so, live forever. as a mother, I have made it through, you know, my girls having a wedding, and that I've made it through certain my times. My second book is gonna make you cry. Huh? My second book is gonna make you cry. But I mean, I've made it through yeah. the goals that I had made for myself already, but now I have new goals. And it's like, crap, I have to be here now for Gordy. That's and I don't want to. Literally, <laughs> a lot of times whenever I'm in the low lows of depression, that's, I'm like, here's the a 
15,000 yes. reasons why I have to keep living yep. today. Whenever I run out, then I don't have to keep living. Right. And unfortunately, that list, well, unfortunately, it fortunately, that list never ends. Yes. You're constantly adding to it, and it's just like, okay. <laughs> when I... I mean, he's unconscious. I don't know. I, I think everybody's thought of it at least once, but I don't know if they have or not. Maybe that's just trauma. But the first time... I tried to commit suicide. I had gotten the pictures, my albums, because I was in an apartment by myself, which is not a good thing to do so I never lived if alone. you're a depressed person. Yeah. Uh, I never lived alone after that. Yes. But, uh, I knew I knew it was never going to be okay for me to live alone. No. So I tried so hard not to. It's not a good idea. I don't know if it was better to not live alone, but uh, here we are. Well, that's true. I'm here, so that's all that matters. This is true. But I had gotten my albums out and I'd laid them all out and I'd take out pictures of the people that were important to me so that they would know that they were important to me. So that whenever I passed, they would know that I, they were important to me. And I didn't want anybody to feel left out. <laughs> it's so stupid now. <laughs> it, it is, but it's not, you know. <laughs> it, so it was your subconscious trying to find a way to like pull you out of it yeah. you know yeah so it is but, but it's not if that's the only thing that saved your life that's the only thing that saved your life. i don't know what did honestly because i should not have woken up the next day there's can, no can i honestly tell nothing. you that most of my thoughts and attempts were foiled by sheer i don't feel up to it right now no it wasn't that i know but i'm just saying for me for me that's right what it was. but there is no way i should have woken up after mm -hmm. taking the amount of things that I took. Yeah. There is no, I don't understand to this day how I woke up the next morning. Mm -hmm. And it was in the morning, which I never woke up in the morning back then. Cause I worked um, till midnight uh, back then. So I still to this day don't know how I woke up, but I did. I'm glad you did, otherwise I wouldn't be here. Well, this is true. <laughs> And could you imagine a world without me? No. That would be sucky. <laughs> it really would. For everybody involved. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I agree. Sure, sure, sure. I believe that. I agree with you. And that's that's a thing, is I don't... I, that's why I believe in God, because I... If I, I, had, if I had done that... You wouldn't be, I wouldn't have met Joe, your dad. I wouldn't have had you. We wouldn't have gotten married. I wouldn't have had Samantha. Is it sad that my brain's like, what if it was some other deity? And he's just like, oh man, freaking God got it again. <laughs> JD wouldn't, I'm just going to keep going. JD wouldn't have you. Jim, I, Jimmy wouldn't have Samantha. Well, uh, there are ripples, I understand. Yeah. You know what's so sad is... That it was never a factor for me. I was like, man, nah, I just don't feel up to it. I, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> I've just you been didn't think about I'm what sure. it would do to the people around you? Well, sure, but like, uh, look, they're gonna be sad either way. I'm gonna oh. die one day, so like, eh. No, not before me. Uh, but mine was always like, maybe tomorrow. And I've just been doing that for 15 <laughs> years. <laughs> I'll put it on the schedule later. I'm so angry, no. I go first, and then you to, guys get to go. I plan to die later. Or sometime <laughs> later. It's not on the schedule for today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, whatever works to get you through, that's fine. Now, whenever we got dogs, it's dogs. Yeah, well, What yeah. would they do without me, you know? Exactly, they wouldn't eat. <laughs> Lily would be so sad, and she can't understand it. <laughs> it's not humans, it's the dog. <laughs> My brain is so broken. <laughs> Uh, mental illness is a funny, is funny thing. Side? Not funny, haha. -ha, funny, oh shit. It is strange how our brains work. It fascinates me how our brains actually work. Yeah, psychology is one of the things that I really wish I got into, but also I, I knew it wasn't for me. Like, the jobs you could get in psychology, it was never going to be something I was interested in so i like studying psychology i don't think i'd ever work in the psychology field okay don't 
read another passage. Oh my God. Catch that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> I was like, man, I'm doing really good. And then boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> My pieces were really easy all of a sudden. I don't know what happened. Uh, this, that was a four-worded quote that we went on a tangent about. <laughs> or five, sorry, it's five words. Um, oh, the terrible struggle that I've had against sleep so often of late. The pain of the sleeplessness or the pain of the fear of sleep. And with such unknown horror as it is, at, as it has for me. How blessed are some people whose lives have no fears, no dreads. To whom sleep is a blessing that comes nightly and brings nothing but sweet dreams. Yeah, fuck you people. What? You people who just get to have nice dreams. Well, if people that could just sleep and have a nice dream, what the heck? Who are you? I didn't have a dream What last world night. do you live in? Did I have a dream last night? I don't remember it, so I don't have to write it down. <laughs> Can I tell you my dream journal that I started? Like, Oh yeah, how's that going? It's almost full. No. I almost need a second one. Because I've been religiously writing down dreams. It is funny, the nothings, because, like, I'll have two nothings, like, I don't remember anything, I don't remember anything, and then it's, like, four pages of dream, <laughs> and I'm just, like, and then the, it'll start trickling off again, and then nothing, nothing, and so it's, like, this, it's kind of interesting, because now I have, like, stats on my Yeah, dreams, you have ebbs and, and flows like, what you... Yeah, it's, like... Interesting. Okay, that mm, would be kind of interesting it's to kinda, do. It's kind of fun, honestly. I, but I have, like, I have start, I've tried to start dream journals since I was 12... Like, the first dream I remember writing down was about me driving around in an orange sports car. And that's I, very specific. I just remember it because I wrote it down, right? Oh, okay. And that's why I started writing d dreams down, because I can remember them if I write them down. Right. I can't remember them just my brain. Although there is some when I go back and read through this, I'm like, what the fuck? I don't remember that at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, sometimes I'll, like, read up. I'm just... Dreams are interesting. Uh, I... I, don't, I wouldn't say. I don't know how you wake up and actually write it down, though, because that's. Well, and the thing that I've struggled with is sometimes by the time I get to work, I've forgotten most of it. Right. But what I've started doing to, because sometimes by the time I get to work, I'm still so traumatized that I remember all of it. Yeah. But whenever I feel it slipping right as I wake up, I'll take a note on my phone. Oh, okay. Sometimes I work. Sometimes I just write down the notes on my phone, and they don't make any fucking sense. So the notes on your phone, do you speak or do you type? Okay. Well, I mean, I it's JD different up. for everybody. I just was oh, I'm sure some people do. I yeah, I don't. Some sometimes I can leave just like snippets. Like hair uh, is one that I wrote the other day. Hair. Um, yeah, because in my dream I was talking about. There's something to do with we were talking about changing my hair color, and I wanted to dye it again, and we were having a discussion about it. You a JD or? And somehow that reminded reminded me of another part of my dream, where this man told this chick she was um, inappropriate for wearing jeans with holes in the knees, and <laughs> that she was being overly sexual because of it. And I went off on a tan like a rant <laughs> in my dream about how that wasn't right, and he sucks and is disgusting. And yeah. Okay, you could go now. Oh, I can do the puzzle now. Thanks. Well, I'm having to. Do this to know where the piece There's one here, okay. one here. Really? And okay. one there. Okay. <laughs> Easy. Doesn't fit. That doesn't fit. It doesn't fit there. Oh, there's one there. Oh, okay. I was uh, like... I don't, we only have two pieces left, so how are there four holes? Ah, right here. What? <gasps> no! No! Check your side. It's my side. Wait. <laughs> Is there any puzzle pieces? What? <laughs> Imagine that, it's on my side. Mm -hmm. Okay, are we ready? Go for it. If you can even see that. Let me see I nice. can see it. There you go. Nice. This is so cool. I'm sorry. This is one of the this coolest puzzles. This is done puzzles. so well. Okay. I kind of feel bad putting it together because I feel like the oils from our hands have ruined the texture of the pieces. No, actually there's a waxy film on it. Oh, it's wax. That yeah. explains it so much. I don't much. know if it's wax, I've been trying... but it's like a... That's There's that a waxy is film the on perfect it. way to explain because okay. I've been killing myself trying to figure out what that feel is. It is wax. It's a yeah. Like a, a soft wax. I'm impressed. I I still am finding things that I never saw. I know. It's crazy because we put the whole damn thing together. I know. Like every piece has so much information that as soon as you put it in, you just forget. There is some peeling 
like of the picture there yeah. and then the that's what I was saying like out. I feel like the more you handle it it's gonna get the less it 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 feels like you're ruining it yeah like your hands uh, wheels but I think that's because of the texture the, the finish yeah. yeah the finish on it oh my gosh and I was picking it up and looking at the image like this so that I could see it better and I had no problems all right but thank you everybody for watching and um, we'll see you guys back here next week. This was fun. I love, I like, okay, now, this is my number one so far. I like it too. Yeah. Good. I like the store, the Easter egg hunt and everything. Yeah. All right. Bye. All right. Bye, guys.